This is my moment. I'm living in motion. I'm putting that work in. Ain't had a luxury of coasting. What it do, what it do, what it do, what's going on? Happy working Wednesday. Get a couple minutes to let this build up a little bit. Chris Paris in the building. What up, brethren? Jared Foster, what up, kid? Happy working Wednesday. How we doing today, sir? First, let me uh, let me do this the right way. Let me let me let me um, let me get the mood right for you guys. Uh, first and foremost, let me just thank everybody for hanging out on working Wednesday. I hope everybody's um enjoying themselves on this uh beautiful day um yeah so for those that are, if, if you're watching me live right now or, or if you're watching this on the replay um I, you know today i'm coming on with, with with an esteemed guest and uh i'm gonna just set the mood right and i'm gonna bring her on because uh she's out here doing some big things and you know we had uh talked a couple weeks ago though it'd be a good deal to come on live and kick it you know do what we do when i first started podcasting about five years ago she was my second guest so from five years to today she's been out here working hard um i would say she's probably one of the hardest working people that i do know um she gonna and, and we're gonna get into that and we're gonna get into why that is in a second um if you if you ever wanted the blueprint on how to build a successful corporate and entrepreneurial career at the same time she's definitely one of the people that you want to bring that you want to uh you know get to know or learn from and she's got definitely got the blueprint been getting money for a real long time and uh <laughs> she's <laughs> she's known for the for the infamous statement of six figures ain't ish so i'm gonna bring you on for a second in a second lauren granger hold on one sec we're gonna bring you on we're gonna get this thing rocking What's going on? You're funny. How you doing, Mitch? <laughs> I'm doing good. How you doing out here? Good. Good, good, good. See, I, see, I see the hair is, is fluid over there. Yeah, I had to do a little so I had to, I had yeah. to preventable. Yeah, yeah, you over here got the, the, the chic and neat. Right. I got right, you. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're here on Working Wednesday. You know, we got some of our friends in the building. Okay. You know, we got some people that are coming and you know hang out with us, but I know um I was just I was just like as you heard me saying, you've been here since the beginning. Um, you're my second guest ever for any podcast platform that I ever did. Yeah. So I think it's cool to for us to come on here, uh, and seeing the growth because before what we're going to talk about today is different from what we talked about then. So I, I think this could be interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Um. Let's start here. For those that don't know you, tell them, a tell the people a little bit about who you are, what you're about, and, and the different industries that you're, that you're involved into. Okay, so uh, my name is Lauren Granger. I am from Long Island, uh, West Babylon, North Babylon, whatever you want to call it. Zip code changed a few times since I've been there. Um, <laughs> Zoning. <laughs> yep, yep. I am a mother first and foremost to a beautiful, um, intelligent one-year-old. Her name is August. She was born in August. Um, you know, as you said, I, I, I wear many hats. I do wear many hats. And um, I like to have fun. You know, I'm a, I'm a good person. Oh, I lost you. When you, I don't know if you remember, uh, when we were in the, me, you, and Justin had a picnic, uh, we'll call it in the park. We wrote down, uh, I forgot what the question was. If, it, how do you want people to view you? So I was, yeah, right. list. Now I don't remember everything I wrote in that list. <laughs> okay. But I'll say, you know, I'm professional, um, intelligent, um, right. we work hard. Um, sometimes I take things a little too serious, but you know, that's just me. That's just me. It's the gift and the curse. It's a gift and a curse, yes. Right. It is. But it's what makes you, it makes you who you are, though, and that's the beauty behind it. Yes. Yeah. It makes you the success who you are today, and that's the beauty behind it. You know what I mean? So I think that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so, all right, so here's the deal, right? So one of the things that, I, the, you know, for all of the friends that I have in my life, you're one of the friends that's been getting money for a long time. 
Uh, and you also are calling for the statement six figures ain't ish mm-hmm. you for all the people that might be under 18 watching me right now but <laughs> but it represents the mindset right it represents the mindset of of your work ethic you know um in the, like you said the, the different hats that you've been involved in mm-hmm. um so t- tell me tell as those that are watching us um some of the different industries that you are involved in what you got going on uh, and how you've been getting all this money for quite a bit of time <laughs> and building a successful career. Um, okay, so I, for 12 years, I've I've always been like, I guess we'll call it sales. I've always been in the sales uh, field. So insurance uh, is, I've been doing that for 12 years now, maybe even 13. Um, I specifically work with individuals that have Medicare. Um, so I will say, you know, right now that I've been doing that for the longest, that is my bread and butter. Um, I also have a real estate license, so I am a realtor. Okay, so I I do. I originally got the license simply so I can purchase my own house uh, because I figured, you know what, I had some time in my hands. I got my license and I bought a house. Um, and I also have a general contracting company that it is it is my company. However, the people that make up the company, I'll say it's our company because it would not be a company without them. Mm, okay, so you got a nice. So all right, so it's I like to try. I call when I think about it, it's like a triangle offense, right? Right. It's a lot of the things that built this country, um, that that really kind of makes the economy that we live in move. Mm-hmm. You know, you're involved. You said sales, but insurance, real estate, and real estate development. Um, was that like planned, or is something that you kind of, you know, just it just kind of built this? It happened organically. Um, it happened organically, and I'll say that because I feel like sometimes things are just right in front of you and you don't even realize it. So getting right. into in each industry, it's like when you when you surround yourself with certain types of people, whether it's colleagues, whether it's clients, you know, that become friends, um, I think opportunities kind of just come to you. Um, and it, I, I will say it was very organic. You know, I don't, nothing was forced. It was kind of like, okay, well, I'm doing a little bit of this, so why don't I just go into that field? Why don't I just try that field? Mm. No, I got you. Okay, and and I, and I think it's you said that you got your real estate license. Yes. Just to get the house, I never even think like let me just get my license to make the home buying process that much easier. <laughs> did, like, what what did that do to help the process? So, okay, the, when I my mindset when I first did that, it wasn't. I mean, it was yes, I sh- I'll do it so I can purchase my own house, but it was more so so I can educate myself. So I'm as educated as possible when I so when I yeah. do buy a house, it's not like I'm kind of like don't understand anything. You know, I wanted to understand the basics. Whenever I get involved in something, it's like I can't just get involved. I need to understand how it starts, how it starts, right. and then take it from there. Um, so again, yes, the the goal was to buy my own house, but I also went into it knowing if I don't think I want to do this, I'll still use an agent gladly because it's always best to use a professional. I. I I feel like that. I feel that 100%. It's always best to use a professional, but I still wanted just to understand what I was doing because that's a huge, that's the, the, the most uh, amount of money I, I, I ever spent at that point in my life. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So through that, you learned, you learned the process. You got more information. I think that's key in everything that you do. You get information because there's a lot of, I'm sure as you know, as a person who, now he has, you know, purchased your own home, your own home and multiple homes, but you've helped others do the same thing. You know, there's like a lot of parts of the process that um, a lot of the, you know, the common consumer may not be thinking about. Right. 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 So I didn't get frustrated. What, what, what yeah. would you say? What would you say as a, um, you know, as a licensed professional, you know, somebody that has empowered a number of people, through the home buying process, what are some of the things that you might run across that if I wasn't a professional, if I didn't have an agent that I might not see if I'm looking to buy my home? Um, okay, so first and foremost, I mean, little things you would think, don't open a credit card, don't purchase a car. When you're in that process of buying a home, you don't want to make any, forget about big purchases. You don't want to make any small purchases on credit. You don't want to open up 
um, any new credit cards. You don't want any inquiries in your report because any little thing uh, that right. you do that is different from what you've been doing, let's say three months prior to you purchasing that home, it will get scrutinized. And now you have to justify why you did it. And that essentially right. will just make you lose any opportunity you had in purchasing a home. Okay. So, I mean, something like that. Um, you know, the market, right? Right now, for example, right now we're in something called the seller's market. Okay. If you have a house to sell, you're going to get more, way more money, like fifty to $100,000 more than what you would have gotten, let's say, a year and a half, two years ago. Okay? So you have to know how to – you want to be with uh, – you want to work with a professional that understands that, you know? So just something as simple as if you're approved for $400,000 – Right. You should not be wasting your time looking for houses that are four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, because you don't have a ch you don't have a chance. It's that's not the market. Right, not. You know, but right, right, right. Flop, flop. Now, if you if you're with somebody who knows, then you know you can look at houses that are five hundred and possibly get that deal. Okay. Now nah, say like, that's okay. Okay. Um, I think that the idea. Okay. Of Hold on. Working. Hold on. Okay. I'm doing a job. I'm doing a job. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll oh, we, we on the job right now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Hard, hard, hard work, hardest working person I know. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So I think it's cool. I think it's not only is it is a good deal to have to work with a professional, help you navigate through the process, but to also have somebody – because you you not only can help somebody in the purchasing, but as a contractor, what has that done for you? Or, like, has that been a game changer for you, being able to now help somebody not only with the purchasing, but also with, let's say, the home improvements or anything of the development of the home to make it more equitable? Like, what has that done for you since you added that to your portfolio? Done for me personally? Or yeah, as just, as a as a business, like as a as a business professional, like have you seen? Because all right, let me let me let me backtrack for a second, right? There are a lot of real estate agents out here, yeah. not only in Long Island, not only in Nassau County, Suffolk County, New York as a whole, right? Right. Not 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 many of them are doing it or approaching it in the way that you're doing. It. So, as a as a real estate agent who also has a contracting company, have you realized has that positioned you? Um, from your competition or you really don't see a difference at all? Like what, um, what's your perspective on it? So I'll say this, when it comes to real estate, everybody needs somewhere to live. Okay? Right. Whether it's renting, whether it's a room, whether it's purchasing a house, whether it's purchasing, building a tiny house. So the reason I want to say it's not, I can't really, it, it's not, it hasn't changed the competition. I don't feel for me because, you know, like I said, I do wear many hats. So it's not like I just solely focus on one particular thing. And yeah, there's enough out here for everybody to eat, if that makes sense. And, and there's, okay. not enough, there's not enough for just one person to. So um, that said, it has made me, uh, it has afforded me more opportunities because people do need, um, you know, living on Long Island, especially, taxes are very high. The, the, the market, the houses are very high. So people sometimes can't afford to get that turn to the house they would ideally like to be in. Yeah. So it is nice to have a trusted contractor to create their 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 dream home. You know, their forever home. Mm. Yes. And um, you said the key word, trusted. <laughs> That's the key word right there, trusted. Because it can get. I'm sure you. I'm sure as you know, it can get a little greasy out here in this. Uh, in this city that you're in. Yeah. GLG Contracting is the name of the company, and uh, right. the type of project. So, I'll say this: when we first started, you know, and this is something um, that uh, my partner said, you, you can't say yes to everything because I, I was that person. Yes, yes. We'll just yes. yes. <laughs> so. Um, right. okay, we, yeah, we started pretty much doing everything. Everything I okay. you needed done because there are people to do everything. However, um, now the projects that we focus on are, uh, let's say, total home renovations. So whether it's the entire, let's say you have a home, you have a two-story home. You want the entire downstairs done or the entire basement turned into, you know, your oasis. 
Um, okay. You know, if you have like, let's say a kitchen, living room, bathroom situation. So we're doing uh, bigger jobs, but still residential. Uh, but that's right. what we're focusing on right now. We are like a family. Um, everyone, and I say that like some people are literally family, like blood family. And I'll <laughs> say everyone that, um, you know, is with GLG contracting, we, we, we work like a family. We, you know, we talk like a family. We argue like a family. We get along like a family. <laughs> you know, we make money like a family. It's all, you know. It's right, family, right, right, right. We are looking to expand the empire. We do, uh, we have an apprentice program. Um, so Ooh. for individuals that maybe don't have much experience that are willing to learn, um, right. you know, willing to learn and, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy. You know, you, you're, they're going to be working with experienced people and they have to just keep up and learn. And then also we're looking for people that do have experience. Um, and, you know, absolutely. We can absolutely use those people as well, because again, we are looking to expand for sure. Nice. Okay. Yeah, t let's let's dig let's dig let's dig deeper into this apprentice uh, program. Let me tell me more about that. That sounds interesting. So it was an idea that we started a couple months ago. Um, a couple months ago was just an idea. You know, we talked about yeah. it because we figured why not? You know, I do like to give back. Not for nothing, I do like to see people do well. Okay, especially right. people that may not you know may not have had it. You know, not to say I had it easy, um, but I didn't struggle. You know, I never had to struggle for anything. So, you know, it's, it, I guess I've come to the point where, you know, I want to help people that may not have had it as easy as me. And when I say easy, I'm saying like my parents worked their butts off to make sure that I didn't need for anything. You know, so right, I, right, right. everybody may not have it like that. So, but that doesn't mean that Shout you shouldn't have the same opportunities. Right. Shout out to the parents. I see them in the, uh, you know, they up in here somewhere. I see oh. your mom was in here. Shout oh, out to yeah? the parents. Shout <laughs> out to the Grangers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's like, yeah, no, nah, that, that's awesome. Okay. All right. So, so, so you got this apprentice program. It's going to, uh, so like, is there age? Um, it doesn't matter what your age is. Is there a limitation? Yeah, no, or? No, yeah it's more so, I'll say uh, apprentice is more so about experience, you know? So, okay. We have people that, you know, are and were, um, you know, licensed carpenters, licensed electricians, licensed plumbers. So if right. you're looking to learn a specific trade, mm -hmm. now what I will say that the point is to assist the projects that we have. So if we're doing a, you know, a full house renovation, you know, and um, the electrician, for example, needs assistance. Yes. If someone doesn't, know, you know, never touched a plug in their uh, wire in their life. We have Might not be the move. Right. They, well, no, no, they, we'll teach them. We'll, they'll, they'll get taught okay. by professionals. Um, but, so, no, it's not based on age, you know, but it's more so based on experience. But you have people that might have been doing one trade their entire life but never picked up, um, I don't know, never did anything with plumbing in their whole life and may want to learn that so they can be a part right. of it. Right. So it's like I'll say that the, we're looking to hire individuals to come onto the team, and we're also looking for individuals that want to be a part of the apprentice program. The apprentice program essentially was created – to uh, teach people that may want to pick up a trade, learn a trade, and essentially help us. But also, it will eventually get into, okay, this is the trade that they excel in, and they want to stay with the company, will assist, whether it's a reimbursement um, or pay for them to go to school. Right, right, right. That school might be. So, like, whether it's BOCES, whether it's, you know, getting their um, electrical contractor license, you know, will assist. Okay. You know, we'll do what we can. So it's all still in the that, that apprentice program is I think it's a is a um is a great idea. Not not only because it's gonna help you to grow and scale your business, but in addition to that it's gonna allow it is allowing people or especially in the community that you're build the community and the communities that you're building you mm -hmm. might not be for them. You know what I mean? Right. And have that right. opportunity right. To, where they can, you know, earn earn while they learn and, you know, build a skill you know i mean because there's not a lot of skills people learning skills these days without either going to school and going into debt or you know what i mean or having to go through like a, a long four to eight year process before they actually start really getting paid so the fact that you're building something like that i think it's a great model that a lot of businesses can you know really uh latch on to and and have and utilize that to not only build their businesses Right. Uh, but provide more opportunity within the communities as well. I think that's a good idea. Keep and building let me, let me that. Let me just say this. I'm 
I have, I'll say this, like, if you, if we'd have had this conversation maybe 10 years ago, I'd have been like, no, you got to go to school. You got to graduate. And I still think right, right, right. school was very important, mm -hmm. especially when you're of a young age. Like when you are under, let's say 17, the only thing that you need to do is make sure you go to school and work as hard as you can or do the best that you can. I'll say that. Right. Um, right. And this is just, these are just my opinions now, but I think there does come a point where, you know, it's been ingrained in us that, okay, you have to go to college, you have to do, and listen, I still think that that's great, but if you can learn a trade, that's something that you can actually use to support yourself, support your family, yeah. instead of having yeah. to hire out. So I think they kind of go hand in hand, but you're, you're absolutely right, especially for individuals that may not have had that opportunity or for whatever reason, they just got a little sidetracked. You know, that's, that's, one, of the, that's one of the big things that we want to help out with. No, nah, that's that's uh, that's super tight. No, nah, that's really good stuff right there, hundred percent. So total home renovations—that's what we're dabbling with. That's what that's where we're in. Um, I also heard you bring up this uh, tiny house uh, situation. Are you dabbling with the tiny houses yet? Not yet, but I will be. Not yet. <laughs> Not okay, yet. okay. <laughs> that's I've been hearing a lot of tiny. I don't know what it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of tiny what house talk being had. Uh, these days, you know what I mean? I've been hearing, uh, I got, a few, you know, a few of our friends, a couple of people I may know that are really into this tiny house thing. So I'm, I'm excited to like learn a little bit more, uh, even more excited to see if you do some stuff with it as well too. You know what I mean? I might come, come, uh, put my hard hat on yeah. and come survey what's going on. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> nah, that's tight. Uh, that's cool. Okay. So, um, as far as, you know, I, I always bring it back to the triangle, your triangle, triangle offense, right? How how is it with managing it as a, a being a mom um, with these three different uh, juggernauts that you're managing? You know, uh, how does that how does that work? How's that process going for you? So I'll say you got to be extremely organized first and foremost. Okay. If you are not organized, and this is whether you're doing one thing or twenty things, you have to be organized and Something that was, um, I'll say, harder for me was kind of letting go of the reins and whether it's delegating or partnering up or asking for help, you know, because I had that mentality. One, I think I can do anything. You know, I think that if I, I'm going to try it, I can do it. Um, right. However, I'm sorry. The reason I think that is because if something goes wrong, it would be easier for me to accept that, okay, it's because of something I did. Like, it, it's, it, you know, I tried my best versus me relying on somebody else. Mm. Something not getting done because of something that they didn't do or because they weren't yeah. motivated or they weren't. So it took me a while to kind of get out of my own head and say, okay, you know what? It's okay. So, like, for example, with real estate, I partnered up with someone. I don't know if Monique was on, but um, I have a good friend um, who we, we became friends. We actually did it few transactions together with real estate. Then she used nice. my company uh, to, to renovate her house, Monique McCoy. She uh, owns uh, Here to Serve Realty. Um, she referred me to someone who, one of her newer agents, and now all the, all the, every, every deal that I do, we partner up. And she's, when I tell you she's great, number one, it gave me time to focus on other things, whether it be you know, spending time with my daughter or focus, focusing on whether it's insurance or, or, um, right, right. or, or general contract or just sitting back and watching Housewives. You know, it gave me time to kind he of... Says, oh, you said sit back you know and watch you Housewives. Know? Listen, I'm being honest. You got to have quality life. You know? like, I like watching Housewives, you know? I'm, I'm all into all that gossip and all that drama. I want to see it. Not the next day, the day it comes on. So, you know? Um, nah, I respect that. I respect that. Yeah, organization and delegate. That's all it is. And also, uh, Kevin Spann Sr. told me this. You know, and it, it, it's something that you kind of think of, but when somebody else says it, then you, you know, you're like, yeah, that's right. You, you, it's, it's physically impossible for one person to do everything. Okay, it's physically impossible. That's how I believe. So leave things to the professionals. Don't try to do everything. So even though I have that mentality, I can do everything, right. that does not mean right. I can. So, you know, I don't know if you want to talk about this, like, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't even care to learn about taxes. I don't, even though I know that's something <laughs> that I have to stay in order, I'm not mm -hmm. in one bit and even learning about anything other than here's all my paperwork. 
work figure it out for me and make sure I don't <laughs> make sure I'm I'm in the green as much as possible <laughs> if that makes sense. No, nah, I mean, I mean, listen. Uh, when it comes to the uh, the art of delegation, you know, um, like you said, you can't do it all yourself. But then, the people that you, I guess, um, hire or employ or have you utilize to leverage yourself a little bit more, they're an ex they're just an extension of what you need them to be. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like. From, you may know taxes or not know taxes or know real estate or not know real estate or know business management or not know. But from that perspective, when you have a situation where, uh, you know, the professional can now um, do the job for you, yeah, you're right. It takes a little bit more pressure off you. It takes a little bit of, you know, the burden off you. And you can watch Housewives a little more, you know what I mean, or right, whatever right. you're into. <laughs> <laughs> but but all in all, no, I mean it 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 definitely takes some introspective, uh, introspective thought process to to be able to say, ah, okay, go ahead, do it for me. You know what I mean? Especially like you said, if you're like the, if you're a go getter, if you're the type of person who always wants to, you know, really be hands on, it's like that moment. It's like, oh, okay, you go ahead. You know what I mean? And I always right. and I I struggled with that for a while myself too. But somebody taught me if um I don't know if it was either in a book or it was one of my mentors, but one of the things that they taught me is that if there's a person that can do eighty percent the job eighty percent to the way you would like it to be done, just let them do it. Right. Swa Man, you swallow your ego. Another twenty. Right. 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 Exactly. Swallow your ego. Go to the bar, get you a drink, just so you don't got to think about it or something like that, and let them handle the job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Right. <laughs> You know, go 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 to the gym and so, and don't be so hard on that person. You know what I mean? Because in that moment, in that process, in that journey, that person's learning. They can become better. Um, they're gonna learn. They got a new skill. You've empowered them, and like you said, they can now so have one more thing to support themselves. And now it's like you can you got somebody now you can trust. You know what I mean? So I think that's that's right. cool. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. So if you were to take a look at the next, let's say, three to five years of, of you know, let's, let's do it like this, right? First, let's talk about the contracting business. Th next three to five years, where would you kind of see it going? What's your vision of where you see um, the contracting business going? So three to five years. Um, mm -hmm. I would say we'll be focusing on, you know, we'll still, we'll, uh, of course, residential is the baby. So we, we'd still focus on that. But I think we would... Um, okay be delving into buildings, you know, um, mm -hmm. uh, commercial spaces, right. um, you know, multifamily housing, hotels, okay. big projects. And it would be a dream if even one big project, you know, to me, that would just be a dream because once you do nice. one, it's inevitable that you're, you're capable of doing it. Now you're going to do another and then another and then another. Right, right, right. Have you started to look at what it like, what it takes, what it will take to be able to win one of those types of jobs, and also to manage the that like? Because you think about it, right, you do a home renovation. I mean, I guess with the current crew that you might have, you could get it done. Right. But have you ever thought about all right? Let's just say. Uh, one of these new Marriotts call you up and say, we need you to do X, Y, Z. Have you thought about what you need to do or how you need to be positioned to execute on that? Yeah, well, to be honest, the crew that I have, so remember, we're looking for apprentices, but the crew that I have, that's what they did. You know, they have 30 that's, They can get the job, so okay. Yeah, they, they, they didn't do residential. They, they're, when, you know, when they were in the industry, and again, some right. are still, that's what they did. They just New York City buildings, all these skyscrapers you see, that's what they did. Okay. You know, so Okay. You know, this is this is like that's why I say it's like a they're helping it's our business because I'm not doing the work. They're doing the work. You know, and right. this is like this is easy for them because they're used to doing things on much bigger scales. You know, which right, is why right, right. for people the opportunity to learn from 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 these um these these great people. You know, I don't know mm. if Frank's in here, but you know. Uh, yeah, I see. Okay. I see Frank in the building. Thumbs up, thumbs up all day. I see him okay. in here. High five and a thumbs up and 
What's going on, Frank? <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. What about um have you have you given any thought to um like acquiring other contracting companies to, to I guess I spread your reach, um or to are you looking into that space of um you know, yes. maybe like acquiring other companies and stuff like that or um, so you're saying acquiring their business or you're saying teaming up with them? Yeah. So it's like, if you want to, you said you want to expand the empire. That's what you said earlier. Um, right. and, you know, in the next three to five years, maybe you might see, uh, MJB contracting. Maybe you might want to buy me out, you know, and, uh, right. add to your <laughs> situation. Yeah, Is would, that part of the plan? Mm -hmm. I, I would not be opposed to that. I would not be opposed okay. to that at all. You know, especially if it, if it makes, if it makes sense, if it makes money, it makes sense. So I would not be opposed to that there you at all. Go. Uh, say, uh, uh, that's respect. Okay. Hey, man, listen, I like what I'm hearing. It sounds really good. You know, you're doing some, some really amazing things in the space. Um, I mean, is there anything we missing? Anything you want to touch on? Anything that uh, we might we need to uncover before we um, you let everybody know where they can find you? Um, no, I think I pretty much touched on everything. You know, again, I uh -huh. appreciate you affording me the opportunity to come on here and just talk about the company. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a baby now, but you know, the, the, the way that it's grown, I'm amazed by just how it's grown in the past, uh, just year alone, even, you know, you would think sometimes the pandemic, you know, the pandemic did, um, a lot of harm to a lot of businesses, you know? Mm, and, yeah. hundred percent, hundred percent. And the fact that you're still standing, you know, it's, it, you know, um, that's amazing in itself. <laughs> That's amazing in itself, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, um, is there like a website for the contracting business, or do you have like one big website where they can find all your services? Yeah, how's that work do. out? So we just yeah, as any if they want to look at the um, we have an Instagram page that they can go on. It's GLC okay. Contracting. Um, we put we don't post as much as we should. I'll say that, but that's because we're working. Mm -hmm. We don't have time to do that. Um, there you go, get money. <laughs> I mean, we could. We could <laughs> possibly delegate someone to do that um but you know that's not um i guess that's not on the the, the forefront of our to-do list right now but we do you right. can go to glg contracting you can see some of the before and afters i just posted something earlier today actually um okay that's what i was talking to so the tile guy just left so we just finished doing a um we're, con we're creating a one bedroom apartment um and Every time, every time a job is done, I just get impressed. You know how you, you have a vision about something, and then when it's done, right. I just get impressed because I'm like, "Wow, I didn't think it was going to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Nah, I know that. that that's yeah, that's always that's always a good feeling. That's mm -hmm. always a good feeling. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So you're saying, uh, you're saying about the um. The IG page, that's where they can find you, right? Yeah, go to uh, yeah, GLG Contracting. It's on Instagram. We also have a Facebook page. Um, mm -hmm. You know, anyone could always reach out. If, if anyone's interested, the, the, I know you have a lot of, uh, you have a, a, a good size following, especially people, you, said, you mentioned under 18 that, or people that may have, um, you know, just kind of in limbo between what they want to do yet. Oh, thank you. I see you right. on the IG page. Um, if people have, if they themselves, or you have kids, nieces, nephews that uh, want to learn a trade, or if you are experienced and um, you want the opportunity to make some money and, and, and work with, you know, a team of people that genuinely wants to see you do well. You know, this is not, I hear people all the time like, oh, I hate my job. No, nah, that's not us. You know, we want people <laughs> to do well. So, right. you know, whether you just want to learn how to take care of your house when you purchase or if you purchase so you don't have to hire somebody to do it or you yeah. are looking to create your own contracting company or you're looking to become an electrician or you're looking to become a plumber you know please come on board because one we need the help 100 percent, you know because we are taking on more projects and we do need we do need the help and we want we, we want you to do well as well we want everyone to do well as well so it's like one hand wash the other especially with your apprentice apprenticeship program those that are learning this skill you know get like you said you'll be able to either fix your house really well or you know learn a skill to learn what it means learn how to project manage because i know that's a real big thing in contracting how to manage a project how to complete a project start like the all of the ins and outs i mean that's a skill you can 
always have and always walk around with for the, for your lifetime. You know what I mean? So I think that's it's a good deal. And shout out to Christian. Christian's on here. He's he's our very first apprentice, so he's on here now. Oh wow! He is doing shout exceptionally well. Exceptional. There you go. Keep working hard, Christian. Mm -hmm. Make make Lauren proud. <laughs> <laughs> Young <laughs> There you go. There you go. All right. So yeah, no. Listen, um, I know you like you said as, as, as things develop. Um, you said it's it's a young company, but as it develops, and uh, you know, just like any child, when it turns one, two, three, four, five, you want to come back on. You know, keep us abreast of the updates and everything that's happening, everything that's going on. Okay, everything that's going on. You know, you're always welcome. You you know, you can always come over here and come hang out, especially on working Wednesdays. Yep. yep, yep. <laughs> And before, nah, I just got to say thank you to Frank. If you're still on Frank, thank you. Because at the end of the day, none of this would be possible without Frank uh, Trip. I don't Trip, Trip it Jr. He's on here now because he's the person who put the application in my hand and told me to uh, get, get the um, home improvement license. You know, mm. he is the organizer of a lot of the projects. So, you know, I yes. appreciate you, you know, and uh, the company. It's a, you know, it's not just, it's not just me. Like I said, this is, this is a family, you know, literally. Yeah, I see all, all of the GLGers in in the comments. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to you all. Keep working yeah, hard. Yeah. Keep building. <laughs> keep you know. Keep keep uh making these homes look the way they do out here in Long Island. Or just Long Island for the most part. Or are y'all doing like outside of Long Island? No, just Long Island. I'm like right. my, my mother put. I like. I'd like to contact GLG Contracting to finish my basement. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's funny. Soon come, soon come. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, well, yeah, man. Um, like I said, come on, come back. Let's do it again. And until then, keep doing your thing. Keep building. And, uh, yeah, keep getting that money. <laughs> okay. Thanks for having me on, Mitch. Hey, no problem. I'll talk right. to you soon. Okay. Uh, Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. See you soon.